evening and welcome to the regular meeting of Portland City Council of March 25th, um, 2014. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, the Lord's Prayer, and a moment of silence for our men and women serving overseas. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And he's not into temptation, but the verse for me, for that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. The clerk, please call the roll. Mike Snyder? Present. Ron Ackerman? Present. Lisa Sardi? Present. Gabe Bilo? Present. Jerry Taroli? Present. Nicole Freitas? Present. Margaret Phillips? Present. Thank you. We have before you the minutes of the special meeting of March 6th. Um, could I will entertain a motion to accept those as written. Yeah, I'm present. I'll accept. Make a motion to accept the minutes. Thank you, Mr. Trolley. Could I have a second? Thank you, Ms. Phillips. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. The chair notes and certification has been received regarding compliance with the rules and notification of this meeting. And we will now go to the mayor's report. Nothing tonight, Madam President. <coughs> Auditor's report. Uh, nothing tonight, Madam President. Thank you. <laughs> Treasurer's report. My report was passed out tonight, Madam President. Thank you. Law Director's report. Safety Service Director's report. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Just a couple things. Uh, one of the things we've been doing, you see our recycle or hot box machines out, um, trying to stop hatching some of the potholes. If you have some issues of very bad ones, we know there's a ton around and we are working hard to do that. Call City Hall and leave a message. Um, we are, so one of the nice things about it is we're using recycle product right now. Some of the stuff, the old asphalt, we're using a rejuvenator with that. And uh, we probably go up to five loads, so it's really saved us a lot of money doing that. So I like the fact of what we're doing. And I understand everybody, there's a tremendous winter we had and tremendous problems. Every community is in the same boat, and we're getting started the best we can with that. Um, remember, the streets take priorities over the alleys. We will get to some of the alleys. I know there's some issues there that will be down the road. And some of you have asked. Remember that the brush pile is not open. We've got a few people that have gone there and dumped off some of their brush. And they, it's been two years now that we've done curbside pickup. We will start that when the weather breaks somewhat. I will announce it here when we're going to start that process. Same as last year, we'll do one side of town and then go to the other side of town. I would imagine in the beginning, we'll do the entire town and I will let everybody know when we're going to start that process. So, thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Sure. Uh, Mr. Colson, with the uh, potholes, is there a specific extension they should ask for a person? Just hit zero. Off the okay, anybody? That's fine. That's okay. Thank you. The police chief and the fire chief are not with us this evening in case. Didn't notice Under correspondence, I have from the Department of Commerce, the Division of Liquor Control, for um, new councilmen, I'll let you know that every year they send us a notice. Uh, that all liquor permits within the city limits um, will expire on June 1st, 2014, and that every permit holder must file a renewal application. Um, I always put this in the emergency services committee, and uh, they ask the chief to uh, just give a little report on whether there's any establishment within the city limits that we wouldn't want to have them renew their permit. He'll give you a little, he'll, he has a little readout and he'll let you know that you can report on that at the next meeting. Um, also under correspondence, I have the Finance Committee of 318, the Parks and Rec and Cemetery um, minutes of 311, and the Treasurer's Report. Um, could I have a motion to accept the uh, correspondence as stated? So moved by President. Thank you, Mr. Snyder. Could I have a second? Thank you, Mrs. Snarty. Star. 
Darcy, I'm sorry. <laughs> all those, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. We will now go to the reading of ordinances and resolutions. Would the clerk please read by title and summary only ordinance 04-14. Ordinance 04-14, an ordinance amending section 557.23 of the codified ordinances of the city and declaring an emergency. Does council wish to take any action this evening on ordinance 04-14? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Madam President, uh, the laws, rules, and ordinances group have met on this. And we want to get a number four. Oh, get well, I'll do whatever you say then. Okay. Um, we want to... Uh, Wait, uh, you want to retain the emergency laws. Reti okay, we want to retain the emergency laws. Clause. Clause. I have a motion to retain the emergency clause on ordinance 04-14. Do I have a second? Thank you, Mr. Snyder. Any discussion on retaining of the clause? Now. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think what she's trying to say is they, they met and had a discussion, I read this in the minutes, um, their recommendation is that we not retain the emergency clause, so their recommendation is that we vote no, because they don't see it as being an emergency. That's, that's, that's their discussion, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say that the clause rules and ordinance was recommending this, though. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> They're recommending the ordinance. All right. Oh, we'll tell the first <laughs> The clerk, clerk, please call the roll. Ron Ackerman. No. Gabe Bilo. No. Nicola Fridas. No. Margaret Phillips. No. Mike Snyder. No. Lisa Sardi. No. Jerry Trolley. No. Thank you. The emergency clause will not be retained. Does council wish to take any further action on Ordinance 04-14? We want to move to adopt. We have moved to adopt this place. I have a motion to adopt ordinance 04-14. Do I have a second? Thank you, Mr. Bilo. Any discussion on the adoption? 